guys, welcome back to the roleplay. So today, John and Clive are preparing for a really fierce storm that's apparently coming onto the uh, onto the farm. Well, it's going to be passing over the farm, and it's going to be lasting nearly a week. It's a really fierce storm, um, and yes, a lot of stuff is happening. So they're preparing, um, getting the sheep up to the farm because this farm is a hill farm, and. Um, their fields are on the side of mountains, well not mountains, but really steep hills, and yes, they have a shed in this little paddock next door, um, and that's sh also shared by one of the other neighbours, well not the exact paddock, but the uh, paddock that's next to it is owned by one of their neighbours, and um, yes, and he's getting his sheep in as well, um, but anyways, um, Clive is just a... Uh, making the sheep go up there. Um, one of uh, Clive's mates is driving the Hilux um, and John is up there with John's um, John, John and Clive's dad be there just up there guiding the sheep into the field and there is a, quite a small little barn um, that they can go into and just sort of shelter which is uh, basically what literally everything else is doing. So um, there's a pheasant in a tree there, there's a pheasant going into the trees. Uh, all the hens, uh, most of them are inside of the uh, hen pen, and there's, a f there's two there, and there's about three uh, underneath there. Um, they had to shelter where the old Fergie was, which has been moved. The old Fergie carcass is now there. Um, and the, I guess the rabbits are sheltering as well underneath the cattle trailer and um, John and Clive put a shed up there over the diesel tank so yeah and um, yeah it does look a, yeah it does look a bit uh, deserted because of obviously everything's inside all the pets and everything so yeah so all the animals are coming in uh, John and Clive's mum and dad were doing the same yes yeah, so this storm's supposed to be fierce and a lot of flooding and at one end of this road, there is a ford, which is basically where a stream or a little river goes either, well, it goes over a road. So there's a little, like, sort of bump in the road that goes down, and then the river goes through it. And it's usually cobbled, so it's very slippery. So there's one of them at the end of this road, because there is a brook that runs alongside the road that always floods. Even though it is on a hill, it's... Uh, on top of it so it goes up farms on top obviously here and then there's a brook that runs all the way down at the moment it um, runs underground alongside the road then it pops out goes across the road and then goes down the valley and then it goes it isn't a very steep valley it's not like what you'd find in like the, the um, like Scottish you know hills and like North Wales it's just a small little valley in between um, different farms so yeah this is a bit of a talk about the area this farm is in it's around uh, the village uh, this road was going to become a track soon and it goes to one village um, which which is about mile one mile one uh, village is about two miles away the other one's a mile so yes and then you go through the vi village that's around uh, one mile and then you go down a lane well you go along the road then you go down the lane and then you pop out at um, John and Clive's mum and dad's and theirs is at the side of a road next to a bend and there's also a heritage railway that runs near um, so yeah they do that and um, this farm here has around well this is a just a bit of talk on some of the facts about these two farms. This farm has around, the uh, John and Clive say it has around six or seven, might even be 10 acres with it. So it's not got much, but it's only a little hill farm. I think it has around maybe eight acres. It only has three, four fields. It's got one with um, obviously, um, where the sheep are usually, then you've got the little paddock next door to the barn with the Leyland in, 
which has got the topper and all the main equipment in. Um, then you've got a small boggy field that's next to the brook. Uh, and then you have like a really steep field that sometimes the sheep are on. Which is this field here. It isn't here because um, <coughs> farm's too small. Anyways, um, yes. And then the big farm, the uh, John McLeod's from Dad's, has got around, I think they say about 168 acres on that farm. So, yes. They're not, neither of them are very big, as in yard wise. Well, John and Clive's mum and dad's has had theirs extended because the bit where their modern cow shed is wasn't there 20, 30 years ago when John and Clive were little boys. Um, that was just a field, now it's been built on. And just love around pot on and all of that. Um, so, yes. That's the end of my role play. Oh, and quickly, the Volvo isn't going to be. Um, in a shed it's going to have to stay by the slurry well the muck pile so yes thanks for watching guys and see you again soon bye for now